Bloody hell. It's coming down in, but in droves. Well, I'll just close the gates and I'm not the only one on the allotments today. Um, Ian's just come walking through the gates there. <laughs> anyway, they've locked the gates up, they're all locked up. Look at this here. Yeah, that's where I've just come in the gates, done a, done a three point turning, and the snow's basically covered the tracks. Anyway, let's head towards, the, um, towards, towards me plot. This could be dangerous, this. Well, all that horse manure's leaking all the goods. See this stuff here? Normally get the old boys come out with the mops and they mop it up and they keep they use all this as a um, for like a drink. And some of them are a little bit wiser than others and they wait while it freezes and they come out and they take the ice and they stick it in the buckets. And uh, yeah, it is good, good for good fertilizer, good for feeding your plants. That's this brown stuff here. Like I said, it's a, the liquor from the arse manure. In other words, it's urine basically. But it's still good stuff. Right, here we go. Oh, this is a dodgy path. This is my mate Bernard's plot. Uh, he's in hospital at the moment. Um, they're going to keep him in for another 10 days. Well, that's when I, was, I phoned him up. I managed to get hold of him. He's not been well at all. But uh, he's, he's, he's on the mend, so that's good. Best mate. Me and him, we're the only ones what are normally on here. So I'm on here on my own. Well. <laughs> Couple more minutes and this place will look okay. Oh God. This path is really soggy. I'm trying to walk on the edges here. Just passing a load of beehives. I'm skipping them from one side to the other here. I'm not kidding you. You can see where <laughs> I've not walked straight down the centre because it's all spongy. Well, look at that. Incredible. Come in, it's uh, covered in snow. That's a nightmare, that. That's the nightmare happening. Um, all the snow, there's a ton of it compressing down on the on the nets. We'll crush all the onions and what have you. That's the water. Like where I'm walking now is in the tracks where the car, um, where we had the road done. I can see Buttercup there. She's in the in the greenhouse, on the, in a bed in a bed. So we'll have to put the camera down in a moment. Yeah, look at that. Right, okay, I can see I've got um, snow on the lens here, so I clear the lens up and uh, we'll come back. Well, you jumped on me knee first before they had a chance to turn the camera on. you like. Stop purring you to give me an headache. <laughs> Hi guys, well welcome back to Allotment Diggers. You probably see the snow's almost gone there at the back of me. Um, as we come on to the video, uh, come on to the allotments, you can see it's coming down in, in buckets. Well, we've been on here for an hour for a few hours and um, uh, the snow's had chance to melt. Some come out, melting most of it. It starts to get really cold on here now. Um, Buttercup, she's all uh, snug, snug as a bug on me knee. She could be sat in a, in a crib there where it's lovely and warm, but no, she chooses to sit on me knee, unfortunately. In the way, to lean over and faffing about, trying to turn, I forgot to turn the camera on when she jumps on me knee, so. You know, as you can see, she's she gone fast asleep. She has, hasn't she? It's a bugger. Um, yeah, so, all that snow, it's all gone. Amazing. Um, I've got a few clips to show you. We've been working on the chicken pen, new floor in there. Show you before and after. 
I've uh, been doing a bit of plumbing. I'm sick of people minding me when's the water coming on. That's really giving me an headache, that as I tell you. Um, and uh, well, I've got a video here to show you. Early in the week, um, I had to open the shop up to get some some pallets out for someone. Uh, if I knew they were in there, I would have had a couple myself. But anyway, they was been given to someone else, so it doesn't matter. I've got the pallets I need to do me what I've got to do. But um, anyway, I opened it up, give them the pallets. I thought, while the door's open, let's throw another five bags of compost in my car. Get some, some bits and bobs out of the shop, pay for it, lock it up, drive round here. You're going to see me in the car coming round here, moaning about the road at the back. They keep driving in the, 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 in the, the tracks. And all they have to do is just drive to the left of it, just give the tracks a, a break. And anyway, no, they don't listen to me. And they, someone's going to get stuck eventually. The good news was they, they took uh, the bollard, it was a bollard um, in the middle of the road to stop you from going down the back of the allotments. Well, they've moved it, haven't they? And they never put it back. So whoever did that's a bit naughty. However, I drove past it, got out of the car, put it back. So you're going to see me um, putting all this compost into the greenhouse. You see Buttercup driving me nuts as usual. I've got to show you a few little treats that I've actually got myself and um, got another little treat off a friend of mine, Sue, who's just had a knee, knee operation. She, oh, it's gone well, apparently. So I was been informed. Um, she brought me something over, which I'm going to show you in a minute. Something I gave her about six months ago. Well, she's given me the bigger version back, as you will see. So let's roll the clip now. And show Sorry you. about the dodgy camera work, guys. I've just come on, just fill me boot with more compost there. That's uh, Another five makes twenty bags. Since the doors open, since um, the the sheds open, I thought we'll we'll come round. Look at this, uh, this bloody. Why do they drive in the bloody tracks? This doesn't me head in this. They all seem to go through the tracks. All they have to do is just go to the side of it and give the the space at the side a rest. Now someone's been down there because they've not put the bloody um, the bollard back. So I'm going to put the bollard back now. So just give me one sec. <laughs> you can see Buttercup down there. She's actually stalking she get all excited when she sees me away up here she comes she's running all she, oh she's running into the uh into the greenhouse now i don't know if you've seen that yeah just put a uh, just put that bollard back you see the top up there there's another two bollards it's just to stop people going down all the time you can come down if you've got um you know you've got a big boot full of stuff uh, there's not a problem with that but um yeah, up and down all the time, it's, it's not recommended because it, it, it makes a mess of the um, of the, the back road. Right, swing the camera around here for a second. I don't know if you can see me ugly mush. Yeah, you can hear a wow, wow. Where are you? Hello. Hello. Hello, baby. You coming in? You got wet, dirty feet though, aren't you? Eh? What? She wants feeding. I caught you over there, you little tinker. Eh? Oh, you come, you come, come up if you want, sit on my knee. I don't mind getting mucker. I'll tell you what else I've been doing, guys. Got a bag of um, King Edwards. All I need is my car, and would you believe it, I've ordered through um, KC Loach, KG Loaches. Uh, what? Well, you, you, what? Come and jump on me knee then. No, well, stay there, stay there. You're not, it's up to you. Go on, jump up. <laughs> Here she is, guys. Right, you stay there. Be a good girl. We've got getting out of the car in a minute. Yeah, so uh, yeah, I've ordered my car through KG, KG Loach's, um, so 
yeah, I've got all my spuds now. And uh, I've got my pussy cat. Whoa, 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 whoa. Put some purring. Right, I'm gonna go and... Whoa, what we got here, hey? She loves these guys. Right, so I'm gonna get all this compost out of the car. And, uh, right, you come on, out you come. I'm coming, I'm coming. Right, she wants to come. Oh, she's, she's in the car. She's in my coffee. Get your head out of my coffee cup. Right, this is going to be fun. Oh, it's here. What? You're not having me keys. God, she's driving me nuts. Right, anyway, I've got her. I'll see you in a bit, guys. Come on, Jake. Oh, you come. Wow, well, what you gotta do? <laughs> just, just put food in the what's there. I'm gonna put a water bottle in the bed now and just warm the bed up. Not that it needs it today. It's not. It's quite mild. Anyway, let's grab my camera. Yeah. Don't want them touching it. Yeah, all the compost there. Oh wow, I must have touched the camera, sorry about that, so you're going to see me ugly head now. Never mind. But yeah, just got all this lot here. There's Buttercup having a breakfast. Getting stuck in, she likes them crunches. Right, put this in here. There we go. Warm a bed up for a bit. Right, what I've got to do now? Uh, get the the rest of these. Got another. Well, I've got 15 here. I've got the other five to get out the car. So I'm going to do that now. Then we can start doing other stuff on the plot. So be right back, folks. But as you see, I already got 15 here. And all the merrier. Hey, bugger logs. Out of the way, I'm bringing the, the compost in now. One more. Something else in yet. Me 
second, just put this in here. This ain't food, so don't touch it. Better lock the door. Uh, Sue's coming over with the dog, and she'll go up the wall if she sees it. What are you doing up there? Pack it in. Well, guys, just got the, the last them five bags of uh, compost in here. Um, I had to shut the door. My friend Sue just come over. She says, uh, "Got you a present here." Some lovely muscle butter leeks. Now I know I, I know they're nice because I remember giving them her seedlings and she put them in and they've done really well. She had them kept them covered. She's the only one who's managed to get them leeks this year because the Allium leaf miner uh, wiped out everybody's on the allotment. Fortunately for her, she had hers covered anyway. She just brought me a few home and says, There you go, Mark, thank you for giving me the <laughs> giving me the um, the seedlings earlier in the year. And they, they look really good, so I'm going to be munching on them later. I do like chewing on the uh, raw leek. Um, although I, I, I love eating raw onions as well. That don't say much for me breath. However, um, like I say, I can't resist the leek. I know it's really nice of us to bring them over. Uh, just like I said, I've just got the, the, the last of the, the potatoes in here now. Uh, as, well, no, sorry, the, the last of the potato compost. Uh, I might, I might need another five, I don't know, I've got 20 in here at the moment. I did get some blood fish and bone, let me show you. Yeah, so, I've got some blood fish and bone, two and a half kilos, I think it's about £1.30. And uh, potato grow, well actually it's not potato grow more, it's grow more, two and a half kilos of grow more, again £1.30, I think it comes to £2.65 for for five kilos of this, so it's two and a half of each, so that's all right. That's what I use to mix me, um, mix me, mix in with my compost when I'm doing my potatoes in buckets. So we got 20 bags of this clover now, um, all paid for. <laughs> uh, so this is my biggest expenditure, me, me compost. But at um, the same time, we got a load of blood fish and bone, and we got uh, some grow more there, two and a half kilos of each. Um, best off if you can get it from an allotment shop, you save yourself so much money. And um, yeah, so I've got all my me, me, me ingredients to do my potatoes in buckets. I've even managed to source the King Edwards, and luckily for me, I was talking to my mate, Jim, who runs the shop, and uh, he tells me that. He can get me some car or so he's put them put them on order uh, with KJ Loaches. That's where we get the compost through as well. So I think I think we've only got six bags of compost left now. So we're talking 120 bags he's got on order. He's also ordered um, me a 30 inch rake head which fits onto the pole. I think the I'm not too sure what the pole's called, crown or something like that. I don't know the name of these. The tool, but I've got a tiller and all this lot which fits on, they all just clip on with a button. And um, anyway, I've got one of them on order. I said to him, How much are they, mate? 30 on quid with the AT. That's just for the head, not the stick, just for the head. I thought, Bloody hell, that's expensive. But then again, I really do want one. Um, so, yeah, I uh, don't drink, don't smoke. Um, thought let like, yeah let's spend me let me spend me money on them anyway that's what I've that's what I've done so that's their coming anyway um yeah that them leaks were absolutely awesome off Sue um, I give her some about six months ago so there yeah, I go stick them in she was the only one who put them under the environment mesh and, uh, and then we got the allium leaf mine on the the allotments and they took everything out everybody's all except for us anyway she just brought me a few over there as you saw. I do love eating them raw, them, them leeks. I don't particularly like them cooked, but I do like them raw. And that's what we've, uh, that's what we've got. I've cleaned them up and uh, they'll be gone there before, before the tea, well, before um, supper anyway. I'll be just munching and watching TV. I really do like them. 
Anyway, uh, I've got another clip here showing me um, sorting the chicken pen out. Last episode, we managed to drag a couple of uh, bags of uh, wood chips to the, the pen. Well, I was completely exhausted after that, so I just left them there for a couple of days. Anyway, we went in with a shovel. Um, there was no room really to take the camera in there to do show you what we were doing. Uh, no room to swing a cat round. I know we haven't tried with Buttercup, but um, she'll make an appearance. She always does, and she's whining and she's up to mischief. Um, but what we're doing, we're just going to dig the, the, the floor out and replace it with some new wood chip. It's only been five weeks since we last did it, I think, six weeks. Um, we put some American sycamore in there and the chickens basically have just turned it to compost. So, I mean, I'm not complaining because I've got 10 buckets of uh, compost, as you will see. So I'll show you what it looks like before and I'll show you what it looks like after. Right so now. we're in the pen at the moment and as you can see, this is what they've done to that wood chip. It's only been in five weeks. Normally last about four or five months and they've basically turned it to compost so i've got some buckets here i'm gonna dig it all up tidy it i mean this is our paving stones here they flicked it on here and they broke it down here they all are little buggers like i said they've got plenty of food and water when i finish here in a minute they'll have a decent floor to, to walk around in but i can't believe how fast they've turned this to this will go straight into the comp into one of my beds eventually. Anyway, as you can see, they're all in perfect health. Just one or two of them are, are molting, getting the feathers back now. Right, anyway, let's get on with it. I don't want to be uh, doing nothing, I'm freezing it. Oh, I don't know what the quality of the picture is. But to be quite honest, guys, I don't care. I'm out of breath. I just put brand new floor in here, as you can see. Again, got another 10 buckets there. They're going, um, my strawberry bed. Look at her, where is she? Where are you? She's around somewhere. Can hear her whining. She's probably on the roof. I won't put it past. Where are you? I can hear her. What's that? Oh, there she is. I'm busy. Yeah. You've already had your... Got your water bottle. She's going to jump up on here now, isn't she? Tear away. Yeah, we just... Emptied these two bags. I'm not kidding you guys. I can barely breathe. But, uh, yeah. We've got a new floor. Happy chickens. She's up to mischief. She's plotting how to jump up on top of the, the roof of the uh, chicken pen. She can do it. But, uh, yeah, there we goes. Brand new floor. Go and collect the eggs in a bit. But, Nearly kill me this this morning, guys. I wasn't ready for this, but uh, it had to be done. What? Yeah. You're not climbing up there. You behave yourself, young lady. You behave yourself, right? Never mind, no. You're gonna fall. You fall there. Stay where you are. Pain in the backside. You are. Never mind. You're not. Let me put all this lot away, and then we we'll go back up there. Okay? Hey. Yeah. Having a good sniff. What? No, you're not going up there. She says, "Yes, I am." No, you're not. Behave. Keeps answering me back, guys. Unbelievable. So yeah, that's another job. Uh, I really, really didn't want to do that. It, that made me poorer um, doing that. I, I was really bad afterwards. Breathing's terrible. 
but um, we've got it done. Happy chickens, getting between nine and ten eggs at the moment, out of 11 chickens. So I can't complain, can I really? Um, yeah, through through the week, uh, I've been getting people coming up to me, Mark, when's the water going back on, Mark? Uh, Why is the water off, Mark? Um, someone's gone in the girls' toilets and done a number two. Come on, guys. They don't need to tell me that. The bucket of water outside and an IVC, fill the bucket of water, flush it down the toilet, da-da. But no, they had to tell me. And that can't never get taken out of my head. And they never flushed it down the toilet. <laughs> because um, I got sick of hearing it. Anyway, I thought, right, time to get this burst fixed. Sort these two bursts out. So I'll give you a quick recap on the burst. These are the bursts. So if anyone wants to know the reason why we've got to turn the water off is uh, because of this here. Uh, we've got a leak on this um, tap here. It's every year when the, when the water freezes, if we don't turn the water off straight away, this is what happens. And as you can see, we've got a pot, un we've got a pot under flood here at the moment. So this is, this is uh, the reason why the water's coming off, guys. And here's another one, which uh, is burst. Uh, Debbie's just turned the water off, so this has got to be fixed as well. This one's an easy fix, but the the one on Debbie's Deborah's plot down there, that's a totally different uh, kettle of fish. That needs um, the pipe needs altering on it, unfortunately. And in this weather, cold bloody weather, and we're faffing about with these. But that there, that's just pushed through the the pipes, just pushed through it. So um, yeah, that that's an easy job to do. But the 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 real bloody hard one is the one which is down there next to Debbie's plot anyway. There we go. Oh the joy. Now then, um, I got my toolkit down and started to fix them after a fashion. Now I had to stop and start, stop and start. So the video was all over the place really where I could have to stop and start. So I managed to piece enough together to show you what we've done. Um, so I don't know which one really to start off with, whether to start off with Deborah's or to start off with the one outside Aaron's plot. But we took a load of stuff out and um, we just had single pipes in. I was toying around with different methods with um, Aaron's plot, uh, with Aaron's pipe, how to work it. But um, I come up with a video, uh, with a bit, bit of a video to show you me doing a bit on that. The other one was speed it up with a little bit of music. You see me working away like a little devil possessed and um, you'll see the results at the end um, we do test the pipe Mike runs out to turn the water on outside yeah pss, air coming out <laughs> so, babes, you see the air coming out and then the water comes out so everything was fine there we've got no more leaks so let me run the clips and show them yeah oh we put some cladding on Mike with his pen knife he got a bit what's then carried away with the one next to Aaron's, but at least they've got they've got cladding on as well. You see me, you see the cladding put on. So here it comes, guys. What I'm doing today, I'm gonna take all that rubbish out of there, and I'm just gonna put one pine pin to the tap. Um, the problem is there's a there's a there's a pipe there what shouldn't be there. Now where that goes to, there's a leak underneath a greenhouse, so they can't fix it. So they can't have the water on until they fix it, until they break the greenhouse or, or get underneath the greenhouse to fix it. And that's going to be a job all on its own. But I'm sick of having to keep repairing this. So what I'm going to do is just put one, one, lit, one bar straight up to the tap and that's it. And that's what we're going to do. So I've got me, got me tool kit there. All, all the tools I need in it. Might even get away with that there. I've, I've worked it out that this might just do it. This little thing here might solve all my problems. And I've got me, me cutting tools, cleaning the cut the pipe if I need to to use it. Um, 
and there's everything else. So what I'm going to do now is get stuck into this here. Like I say, you can't you can't see me doing all this, unfortunately, because uh, I say it's it's in a box. But all that lot, what you see in that box there is coming out. So I'll leave the camera rolling so you can hear, hear me cursing and what have you. The water's turned off so it shouldn't be a problem but everything's coming out what shouldn't be in there so watch this space. we've got with it is they keep twisting that tap there this here it keeps this keeps swinging around it leaks here and the, all these brackets wasn't all tightened up and the whole thing's moving so and that's why it keeps breaking this joint it gets obviously it gets cold uh, freezes and then the joints go but uh, yeah we've just turned the water back on everything's fine thank god I'm getting out of here before something else blows <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're two for two today. Quick update, we've put this lag in over there now to stop it from leaking, you know, from freezing over the pipe. I've fixed all this to stop it from moving. Uh, that's the biggest problem, when they move it about and it, it loosens it all up. But yeah, we've got the lag in there, so let's go show you the other one as well. See, that's what it needs. There's one of them screwing on there, and then this um, attaching. Oh well. I prefer not to do that, I prefer to just put a bar in, take this tap off, put um, a, neck, uh, a 90 degree one of these on here and a piece of pipe coming straight up to this then the problem would be if there's a burst here we would have to turn the whole thing off whereas here you can actually just turn, use that tap to turn it off it's a lot of faffing about and this they made it more complicated by um, adding this extra this extra pipe in here this shouldn't even be here this Right, they've added this in so they've got um, it's got water. Um, swing the camera on, I can show you where the water where it is. So if you look up, if you look up there. Um, that's where it is there, guys. That's where the the, the it attaches to that tap there. Now there's nothing wrong with that end. The problem we've got. 
is just there. So I've actually got the tools to do this, but I'm just thinking whether it'd be a, it'd be a wise a wise thing to do. See what I would do. Put that there. There and pull it straight into that. Screw it. I'm going to do it. Executive decision. Again, that there. Clean the burr off. I think we got it this time. So, screw that on there. Would have liked to have put that in the middle, but too much faffing about. I ain't got the, the patience to be faffing about doing that. So, we shove that on there, on there. All needs tightening up. Well, what I'm waiting for here now is a phone call off Mike to tell me whether um, he's turned the water on or not. I'm just looking for leaks. I've got to check this one. Uh, once that one's been checked, there's one more to check, and then it's checking all the other water tap, all the other water taps, and what have you. Make sure they're okay. But uh, yeah, someone's thrown a load of glass in the hole where the uh, the key is. Hang on, here it is. He's ringing. Hello. Is it? Well, hang on. Let's see. Just quickly turn it. Well, the first one's fine. Let's go down and have a look at the other one. Give me a second. Just. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of air come out of them. Yeah. Just... Fingers crossed we ain't got a leak here. Yeah, well I'm looking and it, it's, it's... Well, I don't see anything at the moment. Yeah, just give me a set and I'm right on it now. Hang on. Hey, hey. Yeah. All right, that's it. At least we, at least we know we haven't got a leak at the moment. That's good. So I've stuck some lagging on it. Well, actually, Mike he jumped me and <laughs> he started to cut it. What I would have done was left this end here so I could just cut a V out. That's what I was intending to do. But Mike jumped the gun and he cut a piece off and stuck it on there. And like I say, it's just to stop it from getting uh, cold and breaking, freezing. But. Uh, yeah, I've got another bit of that. I could put it in, I suppose, if I wanted to. But it's doing the job anyway. And um, that pipe is connected to that one up there. So that's why uh, I had to connect that one. But, yeah, it's all done. No leaks. Turn the tap on. Oh. The only problem is, is when they start bending them about and it caused you know it causes it to to break when they start pulling this thing and just create problems they need to go softly softly when they're messing about when they when they're doing these tap playing with them 
I mean, just look at this lot here. All this is not that there. That should be the only thing connected to that. That's it. All this stuff here should not even be on here. And uh, that's why we're getting all the leaks. If that was connected to that, there'd be no leaks. But hey ho, there you go. Anyway, jobs are good dude, for now. So we've got the water on now. Um, I'm not too sure who went into the girls' toilets to flush it, but uh, I don't know if they ever come back out of there or what. And I don't want to know really, but yeah, all the water's on. Toilets are working a treat. The trouble is, it's going to freeze over again. We'll probably end up with the same problem very shortly. So let's not hold his breath there. Normally, we'd turn the water off until about April, but no, it's back on. And um, everyone can have a cup of coffee, they can get the water um, to feed the, you know, put in for the chickens and the ducks. All they've got to remember, the water freezes over when you turn the tap on and it doesn't come out. Turn the tap off, because what happens is when it falls, it floods everywhere. Okay? And it's not your plot. I'm just giving, this message is going out to all the plot holders who watch the video, so this is going out to you a lot. Don't leave the tap on. If there's no water comes out, turn it back off. Because it's not your plot who's getting flooded. It's the poor persons who taps where the plot is right next to it. So anyway. Yeah, that's it really. I've got another video in it, in the process of making. I'm going to be posting that up very shortly as well. Um, doing a bit of planting. Yeah, get some planting done. Anyway, I'm going to head off, try and get the video up as fast as I can tonight. Um probably around about I, I always put the videos up they go up about 12 12 in the evening one o'clock in the morning um, sometimes someone might catch me still on and I will reply to them other than that the next time I look at the um, the video I've put up is at t tea time the next day so um, that's when I do when I answer any of your questions so don't worry if I don't answer straight away I'm sure you all know by now that I all answer all my messages how many there is and there's been quite a lot just lately uh, feels like I'm back at school replying to all the messages anyway that's it for this one I hope you're all looking after yourselves all staying safe anyway for me and Buttercup thanks for watching I've got to get her now into a crib my legs are gone numb although they're nice and toasty she's keeping me warm so her bed's nice and toasty as well because a nice hot water bottle in there Anyway, bye for now. Come on you, you got to go to bed. Right, I'm going to pick you up here now. Right, go on, I've got you. Oh God, look, turn the camera off. What's she like, guys?